Picked off over here what we spoke about yesterday regarding the shtok kach ala v'machshava lefanai. What God told Moshe Rabbeinu when Moshe Rabbeinu asked, "Why is the zuto azus chara?" When he saw Moshe Rabbeinu sees that Rabbi Akiva is getting a comb with metal combs, getting killed, to, uh, getting uh, tortured to death. He says, "This is the Torah. This is the sachar. This is the payment they get for Torah." So God, God told him, "Shh, be quiet." Kachala machshava. That's what I'm in my, in my mind. Where's the machshava? Mal keter before behind, because Moshe, we said we spoke that Moshe Rabbeinu was considered chokhmah, the brain of uh, godliness. And what's above the brain? What's above the head? The crown. So in the in the thoughts of the crown was decided that this this, this should be done. And this is stuff that we cannot even, can't even start to grasp and starting to understand. Now, they brought an, they're going to bring an example regarding someone that had hardships in life and wrote a letter and this letter was brought to him back. How could it be? That the greatest communities have problems, and the great and the, and the greatest rabbis have hardships. Why for the and why for the wicked people life is easy, life is good. So he tells them, "Ayin gamkin bebrachot zayin amutbe." Tells them, "Look in the Gemara of brachot. The Gemara brachot daf zayin amudalef says over there, 'Shegam Moshe Rabenu nitkashal zeve bekesh leodia na etrachecha.'" If you go look, and Moshe Rabbeinu also had this question, why do bad things happen to good people, and good things happen to bad people? And Moshe Rabbeinu, and if you look at the Gemara and the over there, it gives a nice answer. What's the, what's the answer to this? What's the answer that they gave? What's the answer that we gave? That we can't always understand God's ways. In a second, we bless you. In a second, we're going to start um, uh, thinking that we, were, we can understand God's ways. We start making mistakes, um, start putting our own mind to it, and, and losing very important things in life. As, uh, where do we see this? Also, there is certain, there's, there is a couple mitzvot. We see with Shlomo Melech. Shlomo Melech was the smartest human being that ever existed. We sp- we, 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 that, that he that he could speak. speak he, had, he had a connection to every animal, to connection to birds, whatever it is. Bottom line, there is two mitzvot that there was a reason to it, and the second he found out, the second that a smart person catches on, there's a reason why you can't do this mitzvah. Shh. The, se- the second a smart person, thank you. The second a smart person see, catches on to the mitzvah, and what's the reason why it's a pro- why is it a problem? He could start finding reason. Ah, it doesn't apply to me. It doesn't apply to me. Where do we see this? We see this with Shlomo Amelech. Shlomo Amelech says, "Velo yarbelo susim, velo yeshiv et haaretz mitzrayim, velo yeshiv et haam mitzrayim." It says that you should not, a king should not have a lot of horses. Why? One of the reasons are, and he, and he found out the reason why because the best horses are in Egypt, and there's a and there's a law that you're not and in the Torah that you're not supposed to go back to Egypt. Egypt, you're not supposed to go back to dwell there. You're not supposed to have any deal, dealing with with Egypt. Bottom line, um, the smartest man alive ever, um, uh, the king, King Shlomo, Melch Shlomo, King Solomon, he says, the reason is you can't dwell. So he tells his uh, ministers, he tells his, uh, his advisors, he tells his people that go, go fetch me horses, the best horses. And he tells them, don't bring from, uh, from uh, Egypt. Bottom line, when they went to find horses, they couldn't find good horses, strong horses, and they end up Going to Egypt. So basically, from telling from telling people, oh, don't go, just go get me horse. The idea why a, 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 a king is not supposed to get a lot of horses, the reason why there's a commandment because we're not supposed to deal with Egypt. But the second he said, ah, it doesn't apply for me, I'm going to be smarter. And over here we forget about it. We see another way. Where do we see this? Another, another place with Shlomo Melech also. The smartest, the reason why we're not supposed to know the reason for every single mitzvah because we think we're smarter. We understand, we understand better. So where do we see this also? The wisest, smartest, also. I, don't know. I know that he could, he could, he, he knew everything. He whatever 
came up in the, and also in his books, Kohelet, he brings Bishlei, all the details of life. All the secrets of life are inside. Now, back to what we're talking about. The, the another thing that Shlomo Melech started interpreting it differently, it says, nashim. And you shouldn't, give a, multi, a king shouldn't have a lot, of, a lot of women. So he says, listen, a king does not have a lot of women. The reason for it, okay, I understand. But for me, it's not, because it could, it could be that he's going to go and uh, marry Goyo. Baalai Shlomo Melech married, in the beginning, only Jewish women. And it led up to that he also took goyot and he made them and it gayer to, 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 to convert but the idea is that he always did, he went back to the problem again the problem is you're going to go back to the, you're going to go to the goyot to olam, and he went to that path in a circle way not understanding that he can get to there the second we know the, the reason for mitzvot we're going to start saying ah it doesn't apply to me someone, let's say uh, uh, this is an example I'm saying this is an example again if someone says if meat and dairy does not work for people to have uh you find, someone makes a whole research and sees that meat and dairy only applies for people, for all the people that have all the blood types besides A+. Plus. So he's going to find, I have, I, have a, I have A+, plus. I'm good. And he's going to start eating meat and dairy. Why? Because he did a research and according to him, according to the research, he's not supposed, it's not supposed to affect him. What's going to happen right now? Let's say, for the example. Anybody else? Everyone, it's not like he's walking to a restaurant and then right after going to eat ice cream in a place and go to a dairy restaurant, a meat restaurant. And it's not like he has a sign on his back. I, I have a blood type, A+. A, a, a plus. People are going to see, ah, oh, it's okay. This is a religious person with a kippah, with a beer, with a seat, with a white shirt, tucked in. He's, he's, doing, uh, he's, he's going to this restaurant right after eating dairy. Maybe it's okay after, if you wash your mouth also, like after, uh, after dairy. And over there, people are going to shalom, fall and do and, uh, and go against God's will. So it's so too over here. We cannot start questioning, questioning the way of our Kadosh Baruch Hu. And also with this, he bring and we'll, and we'll, we'll leap in with this. The last point that I would like to make over here. Der panasa ba'atama ishit. This is the, someone that wrote it in a, 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 to make it a kotere, to make it a, 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 the first liner. That uh, what's the best way to find for yourself the right panasa for you? So the whole entire dealing that we had in the previous, the previous, uh, what we spoke about just now, is why this good thing happened to bad people and bad to good people. So he said this thing is connected to something greater. Now, right now, the rabbi of the, of the Shah B'Tachon continues on with maskana ma'asit, with uh, what could you do? To-do list. Bottom line, after we, we heard about all these reasons. Because it's already known that we learned until now that it's very important for someone to be litasek sibot. What sibot? To deal with sibot over here, we, like we explained before, are intermediate things that bring you into, let's say, if I want to make money, I have to work. If I don't work, I don't make money. So I have to work. So they said the importance of work is not only to make money, rather it's also to keep you busy. It's another thing that we spoke it's to make you. It's a middle thing. It's a middleman to make, give you money. Another thing is to keep you busy, because someone that's not busy, you have to be very busy. If not, you can fall to sins. When people are bored, their minds are floating in other places. So he says. Now he wants to explain. Not every single person, every panasa works for him. Not every person, every work works for him. A person that works as a blacksmith cannot sit in front of a computer in high tech, right? It's not going to work. But over here he's going to give different reasons. Because panasa is a lot of different ways to get into panasa. None of the details. I see this is, this is a little... This is, you know, Rabbi explanation is going to be pretty long. We're going to keep it for Sunday. And we're going to talk about the, all the details regarding with finding the right part of science. He's going to give you advice. Amen. Amen. Amen.